Are you looking to sell on Amazon and earn money? Did you know that Amazon wants to pay you? Yes. No, they really do. And if you have been looking for an awesome side hustle or a full-time income making money from home, then you need to see this video till the end. Are you making money online? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Sanya, an Amazon FBA seller and best FBA coach for 2018. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to my channel where I make the Amazon business very simple to understand. So if you want to open a new seller account, find a profitable 10k per month product or rank it on Amazon, then this is the right place for you. I'm going to explain to you with the help of a story of my student Martha. She dreamed of owning an online business for quite a while before she started selling on Amazon. And she had started an online side hustle to supplement her job at the time. But really, uh, just considered it a hobby or something that gave her uh, fun money. Then in 2010, she got laid off with the economy tanked. And she decided she would never work for someone else again. She really wanted to be her own boss, work for her own hours and be the charge of her own salary. Mainly, she didn't want to deal with the experiencing of layoff again. So she took the last paycheck and cashed it in to find the inventory for eBay. Within a few months, she was able to replace her previous income. It wasn't huge, but it was still an accomplishment. After a while, she realized how much her husband was hating his job. He was really stressed out and did not enjoy what he was doing. She had thought that it would be great if she could make enough that he could quit his job and work from home too, like she was doing. She knew that um, she has to like scale the business in order to replace her husband's job that was 5,000 per month salary, but it would be nearly impossible to do with the eBay alone. Finally, she had heard about the selling on Amazon through some YouTube and decided to give it a try. It took about a year of selling on Amazon, but she did it. And a year later, her husband was able to leave that job that things have gotten even better since then. She figured out how to start selling on Amazon FBA to make a lot of uh, their annual income in a short period of time. They did that by really focusing on the fourth quarter crazy like crazy holiday sales. Um, that way they can relax a bit and uh, they can like uh, in the other three quarters. So they choose the holidays. Okay guys, so that was the story of my student Martha. But let me explain what Amazon FBA is for you. Basically an Amazon FBA business means we uh, like have an online store and Amazon handles the stores for us. FBA means fulfillment by Amazon and that means we don't have to deal with storing inventory and fulfilling every single order ourselves. We decide what inventory we want to carry, ship it to Amazon warehouse, and then they store it for us until it sells. Amazon does the packing and shipping and then take care of the customer service, including returns and all that hassle. For that, they take a commission, like that is a fee. When you participate in the Amazon FBA program, your inventory is available for Amazon's prime shipping which is its free two-day shipping and subscription service. That gives Amazon FBA sellers an advantage over those who don't participate because a lot of buyers only search for items that offer prime service and they will pay more for that convenience. There are many other models, but FBA works for me and my students and help us become five, six, or even seven figure sellers, guys. There is a little more to it, but that covers the basics. I have a video here that will better describe how it all works. You can now watch it uh, here, and but after this video, I will also link give the link in the description down below so you can go and watch it later. Now the question comes like, how do you pick and choose what to buy? The simplest answer is that we will sell anything that makes a profit. It's kind of crazy the variety of things that like I have sold, but there are actually a lot of factors to consider. When I started, I choose categories I was comfortable with and I knew something about. So I focused on the kitchen and home or beauty or like, like these kind of things. And then when 
Christmas came around, I would like of course look for toys to sell. When you create a selling account on Amazon, you are able to download a free app that allows you to scan product barcodes then pull up information on those items. I can see what that uh, like product is currently selling for on Amazon and how much competition there is. I can also see how it ranks in a category which means we can get a good idea of how often that product sells. So that is also a way to do the research and when I started I do that one. So you will be okay after doing that. Most of the time I like to set a minimum dollar amount of profit per item a minimum return on investment and I also want to turn over my inventory quickly. So ideally I would like to double my investment and to sell off my inventory within a month. One thing that makes things easier is to find uh, replenishables which is something that sells over and over again rather than always searching for one-off. So that is a tip also. Okay, now let's talk about how are items that are like, like we have to list the price. I set the price for many inventory myself and do it online through my Amazon seller account. I'm also able to change prices whenever we want, either like by logging in and manually entering a new price or by using something called a repricer which will automatically adjust the price according to whatever criteria I will provide. So this is also like how you can adjust your prices there. So guys, everyone runs their business a different way and has their own goals. Some people do it as a hobby, others part time, others want to do go full time and have it to be their sole source of income. And even those means different things to different people. However, I do advertise my new seller students who expect it to take three months before they can turn a profit. That's pretty fast when you think about how long it usually takes people to make a profit when they start any type of business. You can do almost anything you want within a year if you build it the right way and really focus on it. You know what I like about selling on Amazon is that I love being in charge of my life, being able to create my own salary and my hours and like I can spend as much time as with my family or whatever I want. Therefore, really, there is no opportunity like this right now. With selling on Amazon FBA, a brand new seller can hook into Amazon platform and take advantage of this huge reach. Like me, who also teaches Amazon FBA, it has been such an amazing experience for me to watch others start this business and see success. People share with us like, how they have tried so many other option businesses but this is the first they have actually been able to make money with it's really pretty easy to get started which can be good and bad it's good because anyone can do it but not so good in that it's so easy that a lot of people don't take it as seriously as they probably should. They think it's going to be a lot easier than it is. The concept is pretty simple, but there is a pretty steep learning curve when it comes to um, piecing together all the details. There is some paperwork to fill out to set up a seller account and then a lot of new lingo for sellers to learn. And then it takes some time to learn how to evaluate potential inventory. All you need to do is create a seller account download the seller app and then start practicing with it. I tell people to scan things around the house to learn and get comfortable with it. So this is also a way you can learn about the products, what sells, what's not. When it comes to costing, I tell new sellers that it would be great if they could start an Amazon FBA business for $1,500 or less. That would get them like some tools, inventory and a good training course like mine. <laughs> If someone has a smartphone, computer, printer, they can get the rest of the basics for tools for about like $100. A lot of people will invest more than they want to like buy tools and subscriptions that will help make them more efficient. But it's not totally necessary, depends on you. Then they could invest about like $500 or so in inventory which would give them the ability to get a good amount and some variety. I teach new sellers to go wide, not deep, which means that they could send in three to five of any of the product tested out. I have seen guys, a lot of people get excited and buy hundred of something only to find out that they got a bad deal. 
and I want to help others avoid that. Training is of course optional, but you will find out really help you in like growing faster like as you're starting out. Guys, every day I receive hundreds of messages regarding like how to get their Amazon account unsuspended. New sellers try to open their account and then uh, they get suspended very fast. You need to learn about everything from the start in order to waste your money and time. A seller's monthly expense may vary depending on what tools and trainings they use. But to start with, the Amazon seller account is about like $40 a month per month. There is also a free option to Amazon will charge sellers an extra fees for item they sell and they won't have any uh, like a lot of advantages of that. But you have to stick to the professional one. But once you're starting out, you can do the individual one. And once you're done, like your inventory arrives on Amazon, you can switch it to professional. So that is the way you can do that. Most new sellers recurring expenses are less than 100 per month, not including inventory, although they can go higher depending on the use of tools and what they choose to be like handy for themselves. This is the type of business where the barrier of entry is really low, so you can test the waters without spending too much time or money. I have a free Amazon FBA step-by-step -step guide that can really help you decide if this business works for you or not and make sure that you know what to expect as you get started. I will also give the link in the description down below so you can uh, get it. It's 100% free and you can get it there. The worst thing I see people do is get stuck in information overload mode. There is a lot of information out there about Amazon. This is good and bad. It's good because it shows it is a little thing to do, but it's bad because a lot of time the information is so scattered and sometimes even conflicting. This causes some people to just get stuck and not actually take a chance by getting started. I specialize in walking sellers through every step of the process from setting up their accounts like the proper way or making their first sale and I do it in a step-by-step -step way so that's very straightforward and easy to follow. There are tons of people who have turned selling on Amazon into a full-time gig. I have helped a lot of our students reach their goals whether it's go to like full-time or to supplement the income. One of our recent students built a 10,000 per month product Amazon business within a few months, mostly focusing on the baby category. He started in the winter, which is a lot of people assume that it's slow. Mm. I have worked with people of all ages from all kinds of backgrounds and countries. If they are open to learning and to putting in some work, they can have a great success, I assure you. Some of our students have goals of like replacing their incomes while others have like hope to just have some travel money and that's all. That's another thing that is really, really great about Amazon. There are no minimums or maximum. You get to decide how much time and money and effort you want to put in. Guys, I wish you nothing but the best in your Amazon FBA business and life. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and it means a lot to me more than you can imagine. Also, don't forget to watch my latest video here. So let's go and watch it.